Hello and welcome to the Friday, November 3rd, 2023 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. We talked a couple times already this week about attackers using artificially inflated uh, PE files, basically very large files in order to bypass security tools. Today we got a solution. Didier is uh, walking us in his quick tip through how to, first of all, figure out if you're dealing with a file that just has some padding at the end. And secondly, also how to remove that padding to make analysis easier. It's really a combination of two of DDA's famous tools. A PE check will summarize the different sections of a PE file and will tell you that you have this very large overlay with just one unique byte and in this case just zeros and then using a second tool headtail.py it's then able to extract just the part that actually matters. So hope this helps and for details again, refer to DDA's diary. And Apache just uh, patched a vulnerability in ActiveMQ, the message queue tool uh, that's uh, being maintained by the Apache Foundation. This vulnerability does allow arbitrary remote code execution to anybody with network access to the broker. This vulnerability is now already being exploited. Apparently, the Hello Kitty ransomware group is exploiting this vulnerability, according to Rapid7. Proof of concepts have been around for about a week and uh, sadly exploitation is actually a pretty trivial for this vulnerability. You literally just have to basically include uh, some XML in the message with uh, the bash command you would like to execute. And in new vulnerabilities, we did get patches from Cisco in particular noteworthy here is CVE 2023 2048. This is a critical vulnerability in the Cisco Firepower Management Center. It does allow for command injection, but it does apparently do require authentication in order to actually launch the exploit. According to Cisco's advisory, there is no workaround, but a fixed software has been released. So update your firepower appliances. And yes, I don't think we have talked about malicious NPM packages all week. So it's about time that we have some. Uh, Phylum has a new blog post discussing dozens of NPM packages that they have identified that do set up a reverse shell. They use the standard trick of using install hooks. So this specifically targets developers. Again, as you're installing the NPM package, these install hooks are being triggered, which then launches malicious script that will install the malware. Kind of interesting that they were at least nice enough uh, to name the particular script rsh.js and uh, yes, has the usual features of exfiltrating information about the system and then allowing remote access to the system. Based on the names of the packages, uh, like, uh, for example, Aliyuan and uh, Xinhai, uh, I believe that these packages may actually be targeting more Chinese developers, but well, then there are also some like, for example, 30 days of JavaScript. Let me go uh, to additional vulnerabilities you should probably be aware of before heading into the weekend one solar winds released a new update 2023.4 the highest uh, risk vulnerability here has a risk of high as cvss score of 8.0 in order to take advantage of the remote code execution vulnerability, an attacker has to have access as a low privileged user and we also got the usual updates from NVIDIA. This looks uh, like for the most part, just the usual driver updates where you do have some privilege escalation vulnerabilities due to arbitrary code execution in these drivers. But yes, that's privilege escalation because you first need to already have user access to the particular workstation where you're exploiting this vulnerability. 
Well, that's it for today and for the week. Thanks for listening. Thanks for recommending this podcast. Thanks for giving me good reviews in your favorite podcast platform. And well, uh, just a reminder, if you talk ever to a sand salesperson, tell them you like this podcast. Thanks and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.